Okay, so this video we're gonna learn what is series and how to find the series. So series is basically sum of the terms of the sequence. Well, what does it mean? So it means basically, so if you have one, two, three, four, and so on, this is S1, S2, and so on, and so on, and so on, right? So this is just a sequence, by the way. That was a sequence. But here is, there is a difference between capital letter S and the small letter S. So this is small letter S, we call it sequence. Sequence. And this capital letter S, we call it series. Series. So series is basically a series, capital letter S, N, is equal to sum of those small letter s1 plus n s2 plus s3 plus and so on and so on so again this is called series s e r i s series and this is called sequence sequences okay so we're going to find out this one Pay attention, this is a capital letter S, okay? So this is a capital letter S, even though sometimes it's hard to differentiate, okay? But assume this is a sheet, it's find S2. They didn't say nth term, okay? So they said S2, or they didn't say small letter S. So in this case, we're gonna find out S2 is gonna be like this. S2 is gonna be S1 plus S2. So let's find out S1. S1, sequence one is six times one plus nine so that should give me 15 clearly as you see right and s2 sequence 2 is 6 times 2 plus 9 that should give me 21 and that's all now all we do we just plug this in we just plug this in so it's going to give us 15 plus 21 and that should give me s well, that's capital letter S. I want to write it a little bigger. Okay, so that is going to be S equal to which is S two series two is equal to thirty six. So that is the answer for this specific question. That's how we find the series. We add at the end. We find that we we find each sequence. Then we take you know some sum of those. Then we find the series requested us to find out okay let's do actually another one here okay so this is s3 so again what does it mean s3 is equal to small letter s1 plus a small letter s2 plus a small letter s3 well can we figure those out yes absolutely on the right side s1 is equal to 5 times 3 to the power 1 which is 15 s2 is equal to 5 times 3 to the power 2 which is 45 and s3 which is sequence 3 5 times 3 to the power 3 that should give 135 once we have all those i can just actually add all of this here actually it's going to give us 195 or i can just do like this S series 3 is equal to 15 plus 45 plus 135 and that should give me 195. So any way you want to do as long as you get your answer correct that's fine absolutely okay. And this series is going to lead us to the summation also so I want to make sure you pay attention on that okay. So let's take a look here on this one five. So again, what is five means? She is five. So she is five really means S1 plus S2 plus the other plus S5. This time we know. So we can I can put down all of them together here. Okay. So well S1 is equal to negative one to the power one. So it's gonna give me a negative. Why? Because odd exponent S2 is equal to negative one to the power two. Is giving me 1. S3 is going to give you negative 1 to the power 3. This time is going to be negative 1. S4 is going to be negative 1 to the power 4. Is going to give me also 1. And this is S5. Okay. 
so it's going to be negative 1 to the power 5 and that's a negative 1 so if you do add this up right I believe this will get cancelled this will get cancelled our answer should be negative 1 so this is equal to s5 is equal to negative 1 that's how you find the shares okay thank you very much I hope you understand how to find the shares shares is basically some of the sequences requested okay thank you